Hi, my name is Carly and I tried to suffocate the class with sulfur dioxide. Hi, Carly! Hi, I'm Noah and I can't stop insulting my chemistry teacher. Hi, Noah! Hi, I'm Allison and I threatened to kill Noah multiple times. Hi, Allison! <laughs> Hi, I'm Ryan and I laugh about death. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> Hi, my name's Chris, and I like to pour chemicals down the sink. Hi, Chris. Hi, I'm Griffin, and I break lab equipment. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Griffin. My name's Austin, and I'm a fan of pigeons. Hi, Austin. Hi, my name is Justin, and I like things on fire. Hi, Justin. Hi, <laughs> Morgan, and I can't stop crying. Hi, Morgan. Hi, my name is Mr. Arnold. I spent a lot of time in closed rooms with a lot of chloroform. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Mr. Mr. Arnold. Matt. A challenging experience. More advanced concepts. Labs. Sarcasm. Commit to the poor. Read it straight through. Do the summer packet. Know your polyatomic ions. Reread your notes. Look over old AP FRQs. Form a plethora of practice problems. If I were to take AP chemistry again, I would make sure to devote the correct amount of time to this class because theoretically it counts for two credits. If I was to do AP chemistry over again, I would uh, memorize the units that went with the different numbers and also the constants because you really need to know If I were to take AP chemistry again, I would turn my labs on time. If I were to take AP chemistry again, I would study this book like amazing. So my advice for students to take AP Chemistry is start strong. Um, make sure that you really understand the stuff at the beginning of the year because as with any science math class, it's gonna build the whole year. And if you dig yourself a hole early on, you're probably not gonna be able to make that stuff up. Um, and, and it's just gonna crush you later on. Come up, come up now, hurry up, watch.